Susho, welcome back. It hasn't been very long. No, it hasn't been. And uh, we're really looking forward to this new update that we have. It's been work that's been going on for months, and we're really anxious to get this out now. I'm definitely excited for these features. Can you describe the new capabilities that Drop is bringing to market? Sure. So basically what we have done, you know, Drop enables payments in fiat, which is U.S. dollars, and in digital currencies, right? And when it comes to digital currencies, we have always had HBAR as one of the currency by which you can make payments. And then we had a stable currency from Circle, USDC. What we have done in this new upgrade that's coming out is we've expanded the USDC possibilities, the options. So whether you have USDC on Hedera, whether you have USDC on Ethereum, if you have USDC in Avalanche or Polygon, you should be able to make payments to the merchant. Drop is on Hedera platform. The, the entire infrastructure is built on Hedera. So we've given you the possible the options to the consumer so they can make a payment from wherever they are, whichever blockchain they're using. For, for now, for this upgrade, we have, of course, we always had Hedera. Now we have Ethereum, uh, Avalanche, and Polygon as the first upgrade that we're going to come out. So it's a multi-blockchain. Uh, that's the best way I can describe no matter which chain you're using, as long as you have the token USDC, you should be able to make a payment. All right. So why did Drop need or want to add these features? Uh, so we've been working on this for a while and I'll describe that. But I think the most important part of it is the pool, the pool of USDC tokens on Hedera is only so much. It's in It's in millions, right? And the entire pool of USDC, which is a 30 or more billion dollars, uh, is mostly located on Ethereum. And then there are pools of USDC token on other chains. So Circle has done an incredible job of expanding their market. You know, we love working with them. It's an incredible company, an incredible product that they have. But then there is pools of USDC, some on Ethereum, and then there are other chains. So how do you, so, and we do want to reach out to those customers, whether they are on Ethereum or they're in Polygon, so for them to make a payment. So what we've done is we've, you know, as I said, we've created a bridge and this would essentially mean you don't need to have USDC just on Hedera to make a payment. You could be anywhere, right? So basically those tokens sort of automatically get into the Hedera pool base, kind of increases the Hedera pool base, but the real purpose is to make payments uh, on top. So we've expanded, we've given more liquidity. That's what we've done. So it's critical to tap into those liquidity pools of those other networks. So whenever somebody makes a payment using, we'll say USDC on Ethereum, that is gonna end up as USDC on the Hedera network? Yeah, so the way it would work is uh, you have to be registered with Drop. You need to be a Drop customer, right? And that's why you're making a payment through Drop. So the way it would work is, let's say I have uh, an Exodus or some, some wallet uh, which has USDC Ethereum, the USDC token in Ethereum, uh, and you want to make a transfer, you want to make a payment on Drop Wallet and you're a Drop customer. We give you a transfer method by which we give you an address in Ethereum where you make a transfer and that get automatically converted into a Hedera USDC token, right? And that token shows up in your Drop Wallet. So all of our work was building the user experience on our digital wallet to make it really, really secure and also give you the feeling of security because you're really transferring tokens, right? And we'll show you the interface very soon. But basically, you could be on any of those chains. We give you an address, uh, you scan it, and you make that transfer to that address. It's a circle slash drop address and on your chain. And that automatically gets converted. And you, you get all those statuses saying it's now moved to Hedera and Hedera meaning the drop wallet. Okay. So, sure, I absolutely love it. So how long have you been working with Circle? And for anyone that doesn't know, Circle is the global financial technology company that in partnership with Coinbase is responsible for the USDC stablecoin. So again, how long have you been working with them? Yeah, we've been, we actually started our conversation in 2021, late 2021. And again, uh, Circle is one of the most standard, it's like the gold standard of stablecoin right now. It, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty compliant company and uh, they do a thorough check on everyone, which, which is what we all want as a stablecoin. Uh, so we started working at tail end of uh, December of 2021. We first went live. We've been live. We probably were the first 
wallet to have USDC Edge Bar in, uh, in, in the month of April of 2022. And then we had Ethereum. And what has happened in the last six months is Circle has changed their API. They have an absolutely new infrastructure, much faster, much quicker. So we have now done a complete migration in the process of migrating to the new infrastructure, new APIs, basically. We didn't have to, they did the infrastructure. We used the new APIs. We, they also had APIs for different blockchains and we had already built a universal standard interface. So for us to add new blockchains now, it's a couple of weeks. We're going to keep adding more blockchain. So uh, we've been working with them for the last two years. I see. So are these the only blockchains or are you looking to add more as we go forward? We will. Uh, th this has been a good exercise in the last three months of uh, adding these chains. Uh, we want to see the feedback. But I think the plan is to go after other pools. The next pool we might go after is Solana. It's a good pool size. We are also looking at Arbitrum. Uh, which has got a large pool size. And then slowly based on the consumer feedback and merchant feedback, really the platform is also meant for the merchant because we've given merchants a way to accumulate a USDC or get payments in USDC. And we've also given all of them the way to bring it back to whatever chain they want to. So I as a merchant could get paid in USDC H bar, but at some point I want to convert that to US dollars, right? I, or whatever currency you, you want to. We've given them a method by which they could also transfer it back to Ethereum to their, let's say, their Coinbase wallet and convert that to dollars, right? So we are just answering your question. I, I think the next uh, chain most probably is going to be Solana, but we'll announce it as we get that. You know, we're just getting ready for this release. So. I see. Like I said before, it's critical to tap into these other liquidity pools. Yes, so Sushil, what's next for Drop? So what, what has happened in the, I would say in, in, in 2023 is we, we've completed the core infrastructure, the core infrastructure of DROP, which, which is the payment infrastructure has been built. And now we have multiple teams in, in DROP working on different projects. One of the team was working on the Web3 interface, which is the, which is the USDC. So you should expect, or we are also excited about this, we're expecting almost every couple of weeks, there'll be some major upgrades that we can announce. So I would say in the next two weeks, we have another announcement that's gonna come out um, and then two weeks from now. So at least till the end of October, everything that's been worked on by multiple teams in, in, in Drop should be coming out. There are some major upgrades that are coming out. Uh, I would say not upgrades, capabilities, new apps or new functions. Uh, functions that the consumer would like and some functions with the merchant would really like. So. We're working on lots of stuff right now. Well, Sushil, you keep adding those features and making announcements and we'll keep covering it. Thank you so much for swinging by today and telling us about it. Thank you very much. Thanks for inviting me. I'm now posting these interviews of Hedera Builders independently to my channel. The community, influencers, and media outlets are free to use this content to spread the word on what's being built on Hedera. Once they're all uploaded, you'll be able to go to my channel and search for whatever topic or team you're interested in to find more information or you'll be able to get the most recent Hedera news by watching the latest HBAR weekly update. So check them out.